and welcome back to my channel where we talk all things life, family, food, and fun. Today we're talking about family and kids and those times when we mess up with our kids and maybe we're not the nicest parent on the planet. Yeah, we're talking that today. So without further ado, let's do this. Have you ever had one of those days when maybe you were tired, maybe you were PMSing, maybe you just had had a super long day and you were just short with your kids, you yelled at them, you were too busy for them, you got mad at them or angry and you know, you just kind of regret your behavior. Yeah, we've all had those days and then we end up like this. <laughs> I'm the worst mother ever. <gasps> Wait, this is all sugar-free chocolate. May cause a laxative effect. <gasps> Bring home Imodium immediately. And why is it so hard for some of us to say I'm sorry? Ralph, I was ruined. <laughs> Kind of stuck in my throat there, stuck in my throat. Well, maybe it's because it was never modeled for us the correct way when we were kids. But it's one of the best things that we can do for each other, for our kids, in our relationships. It's restorative, it's healing, it's good for the soul. And one of the best things we can do is model that for our kids. Because how can we expect them to do something that we don't do and that we don't actually teach them how to do? Not just the, Johnny, say you're sorry. Okay, now give her a hug. That's not really a true apology. That's not what that really looks like. So, the next time that things don't go as planned on your day, let's give this a shot. Today's tip is what to do after that happens, because we do know that it happens. And one of the best things that we do with our kids, hopefully, is to teach them to take responsibility for their mistakes, to own it, to apologize and ask for forgiveness. Well, how can we expect them to actually know how to do that and to get that right and feel comfortable doing that if we don't model that for them? Our kids need to know that we're not perfect, we screw up, and when we do, we own it, we take responsibility, we apologize, and we ask for forgiveness. So the next time this happens, I want you to stop what you're doing, put down your phone or whatever device is in your hand, and stop what they're doing. Get them down in front of your face. Get down to their level, or if they've gotten a little bit bigger than you are, get up to their level or sit them down so that you're face to face. Look them in the eye. Tell them, I screwed up. I shouldn't have done that. That wasn't okay, and I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? And then watch what happens. Not only do they get a chance to see someone taking responsibility for their actions, see that their parents aren't perfect, they get to experience offering forgiveness and grace, forgiving someone, restoring back a relationship. And those things are huge for their lives as they grow up into adulthood. Knowing that they don't have to be perfect, but when they're not, it's okay to come and own it, take responsibility, ask for that forgiveness, and know that they're gonna get that forgiveness from their mom and dad. Instead of hiding it and always just trying to be perfect and never wanting to screw up or never wanting anyone to know that they've screwed up, we all screw up, we all do it. So we can't expect our kids to do something that we don't model for them. Okay, so the next time that you mess up with your kids, because we know it's gonna happen, um, give this a try, see what happens, and if you do, um, leave a comment below and tell me how it went. I'd love to hear if uh, you get a weird reaction from your kids, uh, like surprise or shock, especially if they're a little bit older, um, and just tell me what it is that uh, happened. Okay, and that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it inspiring and helpful, and if you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and if you haven't already, click that little bell right next to it because then you'll get notified of upcoming videos whenever I post one. So until the next time, ladies, have a great day. See ya.